Good afternoon. Welcome back to Getting It Done North of Seven. Wow, we had some crazy weather yesterday. Um, Saturday, it rained all day. I mean, we see all this snow here. It was all gone. Or we had more snow than this, and it was all gone. Like, it was just green, and it was brown. There was hardly any snow to be seen. It rained so much. It started on Friday, and it continued into all day Saturday. And and Saturday evening and then it turned to freezing rain in the around 9 p.m. and then it started getting we started getting some flurries and then snowed a bit through the night and we got a bit of snow back so it looks nice anyway and it's not very deep it's only like an inch deep but it looks good there's a lot of hard crust under it so to, for in today's video I got to get some kindling split I have a bunch of cedar logs over there and I got to split some some of it to make some kindling. I'm running low in the house so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using a log splitter to split kindling and uh, maybe we'll do some other things too. So stay tuned.
So that was one log, one cedar log. And you can see I split it all up. We've got quite a bit of kindling there. But I'm going to keep going for a little while. And we'll load up the back of that box on the, on the ATV and take it around to the back. Well, I filled the box full of kindling. Like I said, that should last us a, close to a month, maybe a little less. I still have a little more here on the ground, but that's enough for today. The sun is going down, so I'm gonna take all this around to the back of the house and take it in to where I keep my kindling. So now I got all the kindling in the house, and this is the beast we keep feeding. This is what the kindling and all the firewood is for. This wood burning furnace heats our home pretty well. We also have an oil furnace that is really there for backup, but this one just turned on. <laughs> this one, this wood burning furnace does the job. And right now I gotta put a little bit of wood in there, stoke it up. You can put quite a bit in here. And I'll put one more piece in there. So I put three pieces in there and then there's one piece that, one log that isn't really fully burnt yet. That should be good till, well right now it's like 7 p.m. So that should go Probably just before bed, if we went to bed around 10. That should be good enough right there. Close it up. Close the damper up. It'll burn pretty slow. So, I hope you enjoyed the video about how I split Kinlan with my log splitter. I find it much easier. It's easier on your back because you're not bent over with an axe or anything, you're just standing there and you're just splitting your logs. Just seems like a, it's a lot easier and I can get more done. So that's the way I enjoy it. I hope you like that. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, just hit subscribe, click on the bell so you get notifications when a new video comes out, and uh, leave me a comment. Um, let, let me know how you're making your kindling and how you're splitting your firewood. And uh, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next video.